Hello everybody and welcome again. As you can see it's now summer, so the spring has passed. Let's have a look at my fortress. So what have I done is simply that I'm, I made a bunch of picks and I made everybody a miner and uh, I just had my entire crew dig out a large part of the mountain. At first I thought that this was all going to be sand, but it turns out that in fact this is a lot of flux stone. These are limestone uh, caves. So I'll have more than enough uh, flux stone till the end of the game. And I also find a nice little area where I can make my farms. The loamy sand cavern wall uh, floor these are uh, excellent because you can build a farm plot on them so I'll just have my dwarves finish this they're all grabbing a drink you can see that I also made some extra stockpiles which just have almost everything enabled so that uh, my items are all stored inside I still have to remove these buildings, so I might just as well do that. It is obviously not necessary to dig everything out, like I did, but uh, you know, it just uh, felt convenient. This is pretty much my entire fortress. I only have to make some living quarters, but other than that, uh, I pretty much have all the spaces that I need for my entire fortress. Okay, so the area has been dug out, so I'm going to build a plot. So that's by pressing B and then pressing P. You can resize the area. which you have to do and then I should be able to place um, four of these in one area so let's see if this is about right um, yes so I'll build four plots and I'll leave uh, one tile in the middle and then I'm going to build a food stockpile which only allows seeds and that pretty much guarantees that the seeds are always going to be uh, very close to the farm so I'm going to uh, block all by pressing B and then I'm going to go to seeds and I'm going to press B for permit seeds then I'm going to go to my other food stockpile which is right here and I'm going to disable all the scenes so I'm going to go forbid press F for forbid all the scenes then I will go to my farmers you see that everybody is digging so what I did is I went to each of my dwarves and I enabled the mining labor now I'm going to disable it again and I'm going to make sure that uh, they have the farming labor So they both have that. And this one is the cook, yes. I'm also going to uh no actually I'm not yet going to do that. But I could have also disabled all the hauling labors, but I'm just gonna leave it for now because uh, there aren't many dwarves. So I'll leave most of them with the hauling activities active and then later on when I have more dwarves then I will disable the hauling labor on some of my key dwarves building a farm plot on a on a can only be done on soil or mud so if you try this on this cavern floor it will not work as you can see
So now my farmer should be constructing a building. So now that the form plot is ready, you have to query it by pressing Q, then move to the farm plot and then you have to select the crops that you want to farm. Plump helmet is your basic uh, crop. So you have to set the settings for spring, press B for summer, C for autumn and D for winter. On this farm plot I will have them do plump helmets. The other plots will be for the other crops, such as quarry bushes, sweet pots and uh, other crops. My uh, dwarves will start to turn these crops into, uh, into alcohol to drink and into food to eat. This is done by building a kitchen and a still. You also need pots. Pots can be made at a uh, crafts dwarfs workshop. So the next thing that I will have to do is I will have to build a crafts dwarfs workshop, uh, a still and a brewery. So I will do that right now. Since the Crafts Dwarfs Workshop will be using a lot of uh, stone, I will place it close to my mine shaft. So this is my mine shaft, and I will place it here. I will also place my masonry close to that. But in order to build it, I need some kind of um, wood, stone, or bone uh, crafting. And currently, I don't have anyone. So I'll have to enable stone crafting on my mason and I'm also going to disable the mining labor. So I'll make sweet pots on this um, and cave. No. Um, oh yeah, pigtails. You uh, definitely want some pigtails also. Uh, pigtails are very useful uh, to make clothes and clothing can be very valuable. It's an excellent uh, trading material. If you uh, sew images on pieces of, uh, like for example on vests or something, or on trousers, the sewing images adds quite a lot of value if it's a high quality uh, image. So ideally you would have a legendary gloss maker to do this. So I'll just continue on and uh, in a little bit and I'll, uh, I'll be back later. <coughs> 